Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, what is up? What is up? Okay, if you're not new, welcome on back. I'm so glad you are here. Um, yes, y'all, I'm so glad you're here. For real, I love, I love this. I love this. Like, this is why I live. It's just for this. Um, yes. All right, y'all, merch is in the description down below. Let's get started. First things first, um, we got Tyler's on our menu, okay? Um, Tyler's on our menu. Apparently, she's getting ready to drop her new album coming out next um, week, all right? March 22nd, all right, okay? Um, Tyler unveils tracklist for a self-titled debut album featuring collaborations with Kelvin, uh, Momo, Tim's Gonna Skill Bang, Skilly Bang, Becky G, and Travis Scott out Friday. Okay, so she has some pretty cool um, features on this album, all right? Um, I feel like the biggest feature, of course, is Travis Scott, and I'll probably say Becky G. Those two are probably... Oh, 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 and Tim's, and Tim's, and Tim's. Um, you know, those are probably some of the biggest um, features on the album. Uh, I'm excited, okay? But, you know, I love Tyler Down, but I hope that her strongest tracks are not Truth or Dare and Water, okay? I hope that it's not, you know, those are not her biggest songs. Because if that's the case, I'm going to be upset for her. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people be dropping these, you know, having these banger albums, these banger... I'm sorry, they be having these banger songs and everything, right? And they only have, like, two banger songs off the album. For example, Iggy Azalea. She dropped her album, The New Classic. And, you know, she was a viral sensation just like Tyler was. You know, just every song was going viral, cool, cool, cool. But, like, after Fancy and Black Widow, those two songs off of The New Classic, Iggy Azalea's album, it was crickets. Okay, so I hope that Tyler um, can actually have multiple songs that you know do well you know and i'm not saying that she won't um have that i just i'm just worried for her i want her to have a good album rollout okay you know her tour already canceled if you're canceling tours and stuff your album gotta make up for that baby for real remember how they were saying oh the tour is canceled due to you know uh you know she's sick or something like that or you know injury or whatever yeah we gotta make sure that she can actually you know have a good project you know what i'm saying i'm not doubting her at all you know i just want her to make sure that you know everything goes pretty well all right now how do y'all feel about that are you excited for tyler i love me some tyler down um i think her vibe is, is t her body t her message is t i love the way she just you know give it up you know what i'm saying just be real like you know fly you know what i'm saying be real fly um but also i really feel like you know tyler um she gives me a fresh air to the industry just like hallie does you know she kind of gives me that you know fresh vibe um, people say she kind of is copying Rihanna's style, but I don't think she's copying Rihanna. I think, she, you know, she's she is really flowy like Rihanna is. Rihanna is flowy as well, and Tyler has this flowy energy too, so I can see what you're saying, but the, ne the next Rihanna, nah, I don't really see that, okay? But yeah, so let's move on to this next topic, okay? All right, y'all, moving on. We got Lizzo coming through with Weight Lost and a new album, all right? Um, apparently, Lizzo is gagging her fans because, you know, she lost so much weight. And I feel like that's kind of weird how, like, y'all only feel like she looks good because she lost weight. I feel like, I mean, I get it. Y'all feel like people lose weight and, you know, like, okay, it makes them look better. But I feel like Lizzo looks fine either way. I'm not fat phobic, so I'm not going to say, oh, you look better skinny or you look better bigger because that's just not my place to say that, you know. Um, her fans are excited because she's lost a lot of weight, you know. In this recent picture, she um, is talking about how she lost weight and she is sharing her new music, all right? And she has a new album coming out, all right? Um, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Um, but people are saying, we didn't forget Pigo. Uh, we didn't forget, uh, you know, we need to speak on what really happened between the allegations. Uh, yeah, you lost weight, but you didn't lose your evil behavior. Like, you know, people are just really going in on Lizzo right now. Like, she's really the talk of the town. All right. Um, so I feel like personally, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like what happened, though? Like, I feel like no shade. Like, everything just kind of got swept under the rug. Like, swept under the rug. Like, what happened? I mean, I feel like. No shade, but like Lizzo, if you're gonna come out and drop an album, you need to owe your fans or your owe your owe people some honesty in terms of these allegations that were around you. All right, it just seemed like she kind of just like okay, let me just go ahead and just you know pop out real quick and just drop a new album without explaining everything. Like you you can't just drop an album and those allegations that are that serious on you don't get addressed some way or somehow. Okay, I don't want to hear it on the album. I want to hear you say some shit first. All right, I know you put out some PR statement, whatever, but like what's tea with you? Um, I know she was recently seen out at the Beyonce concert and she was out, you know, outside or whatever, partying at parties and stuff. And, you know, people kind of just like forgot about everything for real, for real. But I feel like it shouldn't be forgotten about what's happening. I'm not saying that I don't know what happened. That's why I'm trying to ask, like, what's tea? What's like, what's going on for real on my soul? Because I feel like we're not going to let her get away with that weird one. Okay. Yeah, she lost weight and yeah, she's happier. And yeah, she, you know, slim thick, all that now. Cool, 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 cool. But like, yeah, boo, you slim thick and still got allegations on you. So uh, let's be real. Let's be real. All right. Now, personally, I don't know. Do y'all feel like, you know, Lizzo was innocent? Or do y'all feel like Lizzo 
doesn't have to talk about things because you know she knows she's innocent. Because I have this theory in my head where I say, you know, if people are innocent and they're genuinely innocent, they don't have to discuss much about it. They don't have to, you know, do too much talking about it. That's something that I always like tell myself. Because I, when I find myself over explaining explaining things, um, and I know I'm telling the truth. I tend to draw back because I feel like that kind of is counterproductive in terms of like, okay, if I know I'm true, like, why would I have to explain shit to you? You know what I'm saying? Why would I have to go around and keep explaining things to you? I know I'm true. I know what happened. I know I know the facts, you know, so it doesn't really mean anything for me. You know what I'm saying? So um, I do feel like Lizzo should speak on it, though. Just say a nice, long statement. Do one interview with, you know, maybe somebody in the industry. Do an interview on somebody's YouTube channel and call it a day. All right. Or do like a video on live or something talking about it in detail. All right. Tell your full story and then let it go. Then drop your album. That's what I want from her. OK. But I don't know. You know, when you are in situations like that, you can't speak on things. You can't really talk about things. You know, you are kind of, you are dealing with the legal matter. So when you're dealing with legal things, you know, you can't really just, you know, like, oh, let me just go ahead and um, discuss it. Like you can't because you are in, you know, your lawyer tells you not to say this. Don't say that. Or else some shit going to happen. And I'm, and, 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 yeah. All right. She's going to lose the case. Somebody so. But I don't know. I'm excited for this though to see how it goes because it's like they, they, they y'all, they slandering her. They, they, they calling her a piggy. I, I, it's a lot. It, it's, it's, uh, they, I mean, they're always fat phobic to her. You know, they always fat phobic to her. But I feel like it's just crazy. Okay. They saying Lizzo the biggest in the game. I just, I, I don't know, y'all. I, yeah, okay. I get the fat phobic jokes, but like, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's move on to this next topic. Okay. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> Moving on to this next topic, y'all want to go ahead and get into Nicki Minaj. All right, okay. Apparently, it seems that Nicki Minaj has been confirmed to headline Saga Festival, all right, in Romania. Ooh, this is this is prestigious, y'all. This is prestigious, okay? This is the first time Nicki has been in that country performing there, okay? The festival will take place between July 5th and July 7th, okay? This is a really lux- luxurious place now, okay? This is, this is not a regular event, baby. This is the first... Rapper ever to headline a show in Romania, breaking new ground in history. Okay, this is not no regular thing. Y'all may say, oh, this is a regular festival. Don't, don't, no, 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 this is not a regular festival. This is this is this is some you know some like top tier stuff. Okay, um, now I'm praying for Nikki. Y'all may say, why the fuck is complicated praying for Nikki? Like she's fine. No, on some real stuff. Like she's doing a lot of traveling, a lot of back-to-back to festival, to her tour dates, to this festival, to Rolling Loud. It's just a lot of stuff going on there. We got to make sure we praying for our faves' health, okay? Uh, making sure everything's cool because, like, you know, she has a family to take care of. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I just feel like it, this could be a lot on one person. You know, I'm seeing her have this gig. That I'm sure the, I'm sure the money is money. But, like, you know, having this gig, that gig, this going on, that going on, it can be a lot on one person's body, okay? It definitely can be a lot on somebody's body. Um, now, I'm not saying that she can't handle it because, you know, she's been doing this this stuff for years and she's been in the industry, you know, for years and just been, you know, she's been she's been doing this stuff, okay? But it's just like, okay, we got to make sure that, you know, these people are good. Now, how do I feel about this performance over in Romania? This is great. Um, this is great. This is insane because she, I don't know, I just, I just, she's booked and busy, okay? Um, booked and busy. And a lot of these female rappers do not have no tours. They're not going on tour and they're not doing, you know, at least half of what's going on there, okay? Um, if, if anybody's in Romania watching, you know, I don't know if that's the case. I, I really don't know. But, you know, comment down below. Are you excited? Are you ready? Um, and if you are not in Romania, are you going to be flying to Romania? Let's discuss that, Okay. But yeah, I just hope she don't get burnt out. Like, I hope she don't get burnt out. Because I would be burnt out, like, you know. And she hasn't really toured in a long time. You know what I'm saying? So this may be a lot on her. You know, she's everywhere. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. And I'm scared. Because it's like, okay. I'm not I'm not scared because I feel like something's going to happen. I'm not saying that. I just know, like, your health. You know, your mental health. You know, your physical. You know, all these things really, like, take a toll on people. You know what I'm saying? And I, am, I, am I tripping for overanalyzing that part? Let me know down below. It's just like country to country, city to city. It's just like, damn. And that schedule is packed back to back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But yes, y'all. Okay, let's discuss that down below. All right. I would love to get into that. I love to get into that. Um, I also want to just slightly, slightly discuss. Okay. I want to slightly dis- discuss. Why the fuck am I having a hard time saying that? Like slightly, slightly discuss. Slightly discuss. Okay. Um, Nicki Minaj, um, her radio play. The radio update. As you all may or may not know, but radio um, has been going on for two songs. 
um, everybody in FTCU. Um, everybody has reached number 22 on the charts, okay, which means that he's gotten a 380,000 boost in audience on U- overall U.S. radio. So congratulations. And FTCU has a 150,000 plus boost on um, U.S. radio as well. Okay. So how do y'all feel about that? What's up with that? Um, this is good. This is good. Um, they're giving radio play, but I feel like they need, they need to get more radio play. Uh, because the songs are not that stable in the charts. I'm just, I mean, no, 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 no. They are stable. Okay. But I want the positionings to be higher. Okay. There's no reason why these other fraudulent people are having all these charting positions and they song some like booty cheeks on a, on a, on a Friday night. Just funky. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. On, on my show. But also, I don't know. We're going to discuss that down below in terms of, you know, like the songs charting. And do y'all even, okay, let, let me, let me be real here. I feel like some people don't care about that stuff. Um, I feel like some people don't really care about, you know, the charting positions and like how a song performs. And, you know, some people are just genuinely here for the music. You know what I'm saying? Some people are just genuinely here for like just the vibes. And I, and I respect that too. But wouldn't it be a bonus to just also like see your fave or see like a person's song like charting high? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm doing too much. Maybe I'm too, like, I would say chart obsessed. But I don't really consider myself chart obsessed because, like, low-key charts kind of do have a, a reflection on, like, how, you know, songs are performing. Unless payola is involved. I repeat, unless payola is involved, then the chart is inaccurate. All right? So, yeah. All right, y'all. How do you feel about that? Let's move on to this next topic, y'all, okay? All right, y'all. Moving on to this next topic. Did y'all peep that um, Lotto and Young Miami was linked up in the club? Okay, people are wondering, why? What's, what's going on here? What's the tea with that? What's the tea with that, okay? Um, me, personally, I don't think there's any tea with them linking up. I mean, I feel like they're both, you know, female rappers just collaborating on... Um, they're not collaborating on shit. They're just in the club together. Like, you know, no shade. But, I don't know. I feel like anybody being around Young Miami right now is a bad look. Like, I feel like... I don't know. I just feel like... It's just not a good look. I feel like Yami Yami needs to go on a hiatus for a while because, like, you out partying in the club, but your old man got these allegations on you. What's he with that, boo? And you real quiet. You you so you real quiet about that, but you in the club and popping bottles and throwing throwing them funky ass dollars. What's he with that, boo? Let's go ahead and wake that real to you. Like, what's really going on with you? Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying she needs to go out and just you know say what's going on, but I feel like she needs to at least give some type of like statement in terms of like how she doesn't support Diddy. Okay, you. If it, it, it seems to us that you support all everything that he has going on, okay, and that's just weird to me. That's just really weird to me. Okay, but you know she's, you know, it's two weird ladies linked up. I don't mind that. You know, it's just you know weirdos gonna link up with weirdos. Um, it just is. It just is what it is. All right. Um, but you know, hey, you know, you never know. Maybe your Miami is a victim. You know, I always say that. Maybe she's a victim, and maybe she, you know, maybe she is not really, you know, all that guilty. Okay, but I don't know. I feel like there's something that she did know that she could have spoke about earlier and sooner. Okay, that she just didn't do. I feel like she's seen some things. I think she's seen some things that's been going on behind the scenes with this whole Diddy situation and never spoke up about it. You know, I feel like a lot of times you, you with him, you with him all day, every day. And, you know, he's buying you this, buying you that. And you don't know the half of his life and what he does behind the scenes. That's giving suspicious to me. You know something, sweetie. You know something. Okay. Um, but also, I don't know. We're going to have to just see how that goes. We're going to have to see how that goes and how, how that plays out. Because I feel like Karisha's name was going to be brought up later on. And we're going to see the truth about the whole situation right there, okay? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm being delusional. Maybe I'm overanalyzing it. But I feel like it's just a little bit weird right there. It's a little weird spot. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. That's my personal opinion on that, okay? If you disagree, that's fine. <laughs> the thing about me is I'm still right regardless of if I'm proven wrong. I don't give a flying fuck on myself. Let's move on to this next topic on myself. All right, child, moving on to Ariana Grande. Yeah, um, <laughs> the alleged homewrecker <laughs> Grande. Y'all would not let that go, huh? All right, child, moving on to this next topic. Ariana Grande, she has dropped her album and she has went number one on the Billboard Hot 200 charts for the album chart, you know, the chart that, you know, shows how well albums perform. Yeah, she went number one on that. Am I surprised? Nah. Um, it's Ariana. But the gag is this, y'all. People are feeling like Ariana Grande isn't really performing as well as she should be, okay? Um, she sold over 200,000 units, but the gag is she only sold over 77,000 pure sales, okay? Um, people are wondering, what is going on there, all right? Um, why aren't her fans buying her music? What's he with that? You know, she fell off. Is the, What's going on, okay? Um, it's just, like, weird, okay? Um, now, I'm an Ariana fan. Yes, I am. But, like, I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't have any, like, incline to buy her album. Like, 
with my own money. I'm going to stream the album. I love the album. Yeah, great. But I didn't like people don't really buy albums anymore unless they have like, you know, like a motive. Like, okay, we're trying to get this album number one. You know, like, you know, people don't really just, okay, I'm going to go buy an album so I can hear it. No, we can just stream it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I get all of that as to why people, you know, feel like, okay, is she falling off? Is she like, what's going on? Did she, did she lose her fans because of the recent incidents in her, in her career? Like, you know, what's going on? You know? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't even say she lost fans for real, for real. I probably will say that, you know, maybe her fans just, you know, don't care to buy her music, you know? Um, now that's a problem. Listen, okay, look. All right. Now the reason why it's a problem is because this is a significant decline from her last album. Um, her from her pure sales of her last album, her last few albums actually, um, a major decline in terms of the pure sales. Now, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the overall units moved. I'm talking about the pure sales. It's a difference. A lot of y'all don't know the difference between pure sales and, mo- and units moved. Units moved includes the streams and all of the like sales and like different platforms. It's, it includes a lot of things and it's just a lot, it's, it's a lot of stuff with that. But pure sales is how many albums did you purely sell? Okay. How many times did you have a person buy your full album for a full price? Not how many streams? No, 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 Okay? So that's the difference. And that's why people feel like, damn, you only got 77,000. You are on a grind. It's, it's just like, you know, yo, it's crazy. But I'm not, you know, I feel like low-key, I feel like once you get to a certain level in your career, like on the Ariana Grande status or whatever, like... I'm not going to say those numbers don't really matter because they kind of do matter, you know, for sure. But they're not the major factor of, you know, the album's purpose. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you really listen to the context of the album and the content, it trumps all the numbers or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, it just, it just does. All right. Um, the purpose of it, the, the, the overall meaning of the album, you know, it just sometimes that doesn't really mean as much as, oh, okay. I got 100,000 pure sales. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's my personal opinion on that. I don't think she's falling off. I don't think she's flopping. I don't think that's really a bad, bad thing. Um, you know what I'm saying? I just don't think that. But what I think is a good thing is longevity. Yeah, if, let's say she did sell 300,000 pure sales first week. If the album flopped next week, it wouldn't matter how many she had first week because it doesn't have any longevity to it. So, you know, we're going to see how the longevity of the album is. That, to me, is what I prioritize the most is just longevity. Okay. So yes, let's move on to this next topic. All right. All right. All right. Child moving on to this next topic. I'm going to go ahead and get into, um, the fraudery of, um, this next recent song that was released by Cardi B. Apparently her song called Miami. Okay. Um, has dropped. Yep. It's dropped. All right. And the song is, is expected to go top 15 on billboard. Um, <laughs> uh, how was that possible? All right, I don't know how that's possible when the song is not really performing the best on other platforms. But anyway, um, anyway, she has over, she has over, literally, y'all, I kid you not, 15.5 million radio play audience, all right? Over 15 million radio play audience, okay? Guess how many streams you think that the song has, okay? 13 million. Why does your radio have more than your streams, isn't that a bit backwards? Isn't that weird? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just think that it's really interesting. Um, it just, it's just weird. You know, just a lot of payola is involved here. And we know this. We know this is a fact. We know this is the case. But I don't know. To see the payola thing still going on, I, I'm shocked that it's like, how are you still getting that? You know, like what? Still? Like still? I don't know. Because nobody talks about no damn Cardi B music like that. You know, nobody's sitting around here waiting for her music. Okay, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm under a rock. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, but it's supposed to be it's supposed to go to number 15. Okay, it's supposed to go to number 15. Which, in my personal opinion, is it, it fraud, fraud, fraudulent. 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 Yeah, fraudulent. Um, I don't know. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, wow, like, how how are they getting away with this? You know, like, how is this allowed? You have more r- radio play than streams on a song, and you're charting higher than some songs that have way more streams than you? That's just suspicious to me. That's very suspicious to me. Okay? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Y'all gotta... Mm, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. But anyway, y'all... 
that's my personal opinion on that. Okay, let's move on to this next topic, all right? All right, all right, all right, child. Moving on to my girl, Hallie. She's been going viral on social media because her man, DDG, um, has actually been, you know, surprising her with some gifts in terms of awards, okay? Um, Hallie recently lost... Um, she was snubbed from an award show, all right? And um, she was upset about it. And then DDG came around and, you know, was just saving the day, all right? Basically proving everybody wrong about how he treats her. Everybody thought she was going to be getting treated like a little, you know, weirdo, you know, a little like, you know, down, you know, degraded. People thought that, you know, Hallie was going to be mistreated in this relationship, okay? That is definitely what people were thinking and that's what they people thought that was going to be going on, Okay. Um, but that's not the case, y'all. That's not the case. Um, you know, they have a child together. You know, he's treating her really well. Great, great, great. Okay. He gave her a different, you know, best mom award. He gave her a best, um, you know, actress award, best singer, you know, all these different cute little awards because she was snubbed. You know, he went out and got personal awards created for her, you know, so, you know, yeah. Um, but I love that. I love that. Actually. I do love that. Um, I feel like that is cute. All right. And I love the fact that, you know, he is treating her right. Cause like y'all know. When I saw them together last year, first, you know, I was a little bit skeptical. I was like, this is weird. Why are you with this man? Okay. Doing that weird one. Don't do that weird one. Okay. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I have grown to like him for Hallie because of the way Hallie is shown. Like, she's always smiling when she talks about him. She's always laughing and giggling. And she's always just seems so happy every time he's around her, or every time he is disgusted by her. And, you know, I think that's cute. It's very cute, in my personal opinion. Uh, I love it, actually. I really do love that. You know, I really feel like that's a really good thing to have. You know, everybody needs something like that. Everybody needs something like that, okay? Um, but yeah, um, you know, I'm still kind of, you know, on edge with DDG. I'm not fully like, you know, okay, I see you. I see you doing the right thing, but I'm still looking to keep an eye out for you, okay? You know, because things may look a certain way with relationships and behind the scenes be a totally different story. You know what I'm saying? A totally different story. And I think people don't understand that. They, they see all this social media stuff. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. But eh, yeah, things are cute. But you know, people are getting black eyes behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? It's just that type of thing. It's like, I'm just saying, you know, you got to be careful with this, this type of stuff because things look a certain way, but aren't always that, okay? But yeah, so that's my personal opinion on that. Let's talk about that down below in the comment section. Let's discuss, let's discuss. I would love to hear what you have to say about everything. All right, y'all. That's all I got for you in today's video. I appreciate you so, so much for watching. Like, I really do rock with y'all so much. Like, you know, I was just thinking to myself earlier. I was like, man, like, I really am doing what I like to do. And I don't know. It's just, it just hits different when other people enjoy it too. You see what I'm saying? So, all right, y'all. I'm going to see y'all next video. Be safe. Merch is in the description down below. All right, y'all. Be safe.